G'day guys, today I'm going to show you the best three games that you can play at a casino, as well as a couple tips and tricks that I've learned while playing. As a foreword though, this video is purely educational only. No matter what game you choose, it's always going to be partly luck. You should only ever gamble for entertainment and with money you can afford to lose. Now, number three is Blackjack. This game is universally known to be pretty fair, with a house edge of about 2%. Now I'm sure that most of you guys have heard of card counting, but the sad news is that with modern day casinos and their continuous shuffling machines, it's pretty much impossible to do. The best way that you can make money with blackjack is by learning basic strategy. Now it's not too hard to pick up and if you play a couple hands while looking at the guide you'll learn how it operates pretty quickly, but essentially doing that will give you the best odds of winning no matter what cards are dealt. Other than that, the best method of winning at blackjack is just purely to get lucky. There's not much else that you can do in a modern casino to try and improve your odds much further than that. Number two is roulette. Now I'm sure all of you guys have heard of roulette and it's one of the classic games that you'll find in any casino no matter whether it's online or in person. The biggest thing to know with roulette is that there's two versions, American and European. American roulette has two zeros while the European only has one. This means that you should only ever play European roulette. Never ever play American roulette because you have twice the amount of chance to lose. Now personally, the casinos I have around here, they only offer American. So that's why I choose whenever I do roulette, I choose to play online because that way I can choose a table that only has one zero and my odds are gonna be way better. But aside from that, there are heaps of strategies for roulette. There's the Martingale, the Reverse Martingale, the Romanovsky, uh, several variants like the Table Flip and uh, the Fibonacci betting scheme. All of these I've made a couple videos on so that you can get a feel for all the different types of strategies depending on whether you want something that increments consistently or something that's a bit safer like the Romanovsky. So I'll leave a couple links down below so that you guys can check it out. The best way to ensure a win with roulette though, no matter what strategy you're using, is to go in knowing how much that you're planning to win and with a starting bankroll so that once if you lose it, that's okay, you've already got that accounted for, but you know how much you're going to win and then walk away from the table with because otherwise if you stay forever, you're just going to lose it all. Now. The best game that you can possibly play at the casino and the one with the best odds and most likely to give you your money back is one called Baccarat. Now this is one of the less popular games in the casino and I know a lot of people that haven't even heard of it before. But basically the goal is to try and get the highest one digit number possible. Now unlike blackjack, this game actually allows you to choose whether you want to bet on the player or on the banker. What this does is this actually improves your odds even further and essentially makes it like a coin flip where it's 50-50 and the house edge is something like 0.3% because they don't know, they can't bias it one way or another because you can bet either for the player or the banker. Now there's a couple different strategies that you can use for Baccarat as well. Such things as like seeing what's the most common bet, whether it's player or banker in the last three hands, or there's, a, there's numerous different betting schemes similar to roulette with Fibonacci and the Martingale setups. The best tip though, is to make sure that you never ever bet on either tie or for any of the other side bets, like getting a pair or anything like that, because the odds of it actually happening are much lower than what their payouts are. So even if it does come up, sure you might win a bit of money, but the chances of it coming up enough times for you to consistently make profit on that bet is ridiculously small and the house edge on those bets are very high. So make sure that you never place anything but player or banker bets. I have made a couple videos on Baccarat before with a few different strategies. I've also made one looking into Mickey Mays and the way that he plays. Now Mickey Mays is probably one of the most successful gamblers of our time. He's walked away with several million dollars and most of the time he wins his money on Baccarat. So if that doesn't tell you something then I don't know what will. But I hope you guys enjoyed this information. I've really tried to condense my videos down. I've had a few people say that, you know, I talk too much or I get carried away. And I know I'm sorry that I do. I, I do have a tendency to ramble. So I, I think I'm going to try and do a more edited style of videos where there's more cuts, less downtime between the words and, you know, keep you guys a bit, keep you guys engaged a bit more. But it makes it a lot harder to do the live reactions and betting with my own money and seeing how I go. 
Anyway, guys, let me know what you thought of this type of video format. See, let me know if there's anything else I can do to improve. And I want to thank you guys so, so, so much for helping me reach a thousand subscribers. It's honestly mind blowing that within the last three months, I've grown from nothing to having over a thousand of you guys watching me getting my tactics and tips and, you know, learning everything that I can give you. And I'm, I'm so grateful. And I hope that I can do you guys a service and do you guys right and help teach you how to bet responsibly, intelligently, and just hopefully make some money so just i can't thank you guys enough if you guys did enjoy and you aren't subscribed make sure you smack that button because it means the world to me other than that i wish you guys the best of luck take care